G'day, how are you going? I've noticed a lot of talk lately from smartphone makers saying that they're about to revolutionize photography, flipping the world of photography on its head with the cameras that they're installing in their smartphones. It's just absolutely not true, and I'll tell you why. For many, many years, photography consumers, and now most recently smartphone consumers, have been caught up in this world of megapixels, the mythical megapixels, more than megapixels, the better the photographs. And is it true? Well, there could be partially some truth to it, but in reality, it's all just about smoke and mirrors. Megapixels doesn't have a lot of bearing on it, unless, of course, you want to cover a whole 50 foot wall with the pictures that you're taking on your phone or on your camera. Most recently I've heard Huawei come out and say that new P30 Pro is going to render professional photography obsolete. But how do I know it's rubbish? Well image quality comes down to a number of things but primarily it's to do with the size of the image sensor. Now in phones these are very small transportable pocketable devices and they just don't have the size inside. Let's have a look at a couple of camera bodies here. This one here is a full frame camera. The sensor you can see in there is what's shining greeny blue and glowing up now. That is the image sensor. It has all the photo sites that collects the light. The bigger the sensor is, the more light it's able to collect and to determine the image from. Big solid size sensor. Another common size is the APS-C or crop sensor. A bit smaller than the full frame sensor. These are the type of sensor size you need to get really terrific image quality. Certainly nothing like what you'll find on your phone. Have a look at this quick diagram here. This will show you the relative size of the sensor. I'll throw it up on the screen here. The widest sensor, the full frame, is the orange one that we had a look at. We step down to the ochre colored rectangle there. That is from the crop sensor. And if you hone right down to the smallest possible sensor size in the middle there, one third of an inch size, that's generally what you're talking about on a smartphone. It means in order to create the image that your smartphone manufacturer is telling you is going to make your camera obsolete, it has to collect all the same amount of data that a full frame sensor might down onto this tiny little sensor. Absolutely impossible. And until such time as smartphone manufacturers are able to substantially increase the size of their sensor, they're not going to come anywhere close to taking professional quality photographs like you will with any of these. Don't believe the hype.